Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Jaden Animations reaction. This one is called I Attempted a Two Player Nuzlocke. <sighs> Jaden never, you know, stops with their Nuzlocks, but hey, that's a good thing. Because, uh, the Pokemon videos are really popular on her channel. So, uh, let's check out this new one. Go watch the original video, go subscribe to Jaden Animations, make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And let's get it in 3, 2, 1, let's go. You know the drill at this point. Pokemon faints, it dies. Catch one Pokemon per route and nickname it to set up for emotional trauma. But this time we're doing something a bit different. A two-person Nuzlocke. It's technically called a Soul Link, but no one knows what Soul that Link. Is. So basically you and person two play the same Pokemon game at the same time. My question is, who is going to be the, the second Pokemon person? Linked, which means if my starter dies, player two's starter also dies. And they can't oh. do anything about it. Plus, we can only have one primary typing for both of our teams combined. So if I catch a water type and add it to my team, person two can't have a water type at all on theirs. And cherry on top, all Pokemon are randomized. I can walk into the grass at any point and accidentally find God. And maybe he'll just kill all my animals right then and there. So with oh. all these new rules in place, I needed to find a player too. One who's a real Pokemon master, able to adapt, improvise, and who is this person? Of a hat. And who else other than Pokemon Master himself? Jacob Alpharad. Who at this point in time has Nice. Let's go. Video. Here's our Pokemon Heart. Alpharad is amazing. Alright. Alpharad is literally Nuzlocke. awesome. We both go downstairs, barely greet our mom, and immediately beeline it to Professor Elm's lab to see what Pokemon he's got for us, because we don't know. They're random. In case you forgot what I just said. We stroll up to him and he pats Jacob on the head and goes, Aww. Choose from these three. I picked them specially for you. Torterra, Tentacruel, or Ludicolo. Alright, what do I get? Why not make Eariodus? Awesome. Jacob takes Torterra and I take Mankey and we name them Man. Franklin. On our way to talk to Mr. You Frank, both Jacob name him Franklin. You rock in a random patch of grass which just flat out explodes on him. No one died luckily, but also oh my god. We get an egg and immediately Professor Elm calls and tells us he's been robbed and bullied. You Wait. Really couldn't handle the really? phone for 10 minutes, huh? could you? On our way back to a grown adult, we stumble onto a shady figure who scoffs, challenges us to a battle with Pokemon he stole from Elm, which we immediately win. Scoffs again, then drops his wallet, passport, credit card, driver's oh. license, social security, target gift card on the ground in front of us for the world to see. Dude, get your crap together. You can't be doing that. Yeah, you can't put your personal information the outside. He's crying on the floor as the police and our neighbor are trying to comfort him. And the police asks us if we saw anyone suspicious. Amogus. Yes, we saw his info. Now here we get to name our rival. Jacob and I try to think of someone that we both shared some sort of rivalry with. When we remembered a certain professional Pokemon Nuzlocke has been consistently reacting and critiquing our Nuzlocke so far. Some of his comments were... More critical than others. Okay. Directed at one of us more than the other. Mr. Policeman. His name is Jan. Hi, Jan. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, Jan. Out. Anyway, our neighbor takes us out to some grass to show us how to catch a Pokemon. Runs into Articuno. Catches. Oh Pokemon no, not Articuno. And turns to us and goes, "See, just like that." They give us some Pokeballs and we can finally start our journey. We both run around in the grass and our first encounters are Barboach. Oh. And Houndoom. This would have been awesome for Jacob if he could catch the dang thing. Since we only had Pokeballs, Houndoom was not getting in the ball no matter what. And we ended up not getting that pair. Oh. You know, it's all right. There's plenty more encounters like Hop It Farfetch that Jacob accidentally kills. Or Geodude Gyarados oh. that Jacob accidentally kills. Or Tyro Charizard that Jacob accidentally kills. Oh. Hey, why do I get this? And Jacob gets all this. And why do you keep killing him, Jacob? But oh. finally, in the ruins of Elf, we managed Damn to... Damn it, Jacob. Sand slash camera Not bad at all. We try to name them Michael, but... <laughs> Alpha Rod Michael keeps on killing his Pokemon. Michels. Then on Route 32, Michels. we had Beedrill, which is also pretty good. Mainly for just me. We started combining the two Pokemon to create their names, so we ended up somehow with... Bedrodo. We ran into a trainer. Bedro Bedro Hulk I actually like that. Bedrodo. That, that actually sounds like a really good name. Type weakness, Google Not gonna lie. He's weak to fairy. And Salamence? No other dragons, just Salamence. So Jacob and I started joking around every time we saw a Palkia. Oh no, if only I had a Salamence. 
Uh oh. Salam Salamon over here. It was kind of strange how many Palkias we ran into, but that didn't stop us from bullying every single one. So we take <laughs> on Faulkner, the first gym leader, who has Kyogre Bronzar and Metagross Dragonair. Oh my god. After a lot of difficulty, we both managed to beat him with no casualties. I don't know how that happened, but hey, everyone's alright. Alright, that's good. Oh no. Oh how about some encounters to lighten the mood? Oh, hello, Shuckles Suicune. Shuckles. That Jacob accidentally kills. In Azalea Town, we challenge Bugsy, who luckily wasn't as stacked as Faulkner. And as we step outside, Jan, who is surprised we haven't been demolished. Oh, yet, Jan. Too, oh, no. Challenges us to a battle, which we also win. <laughs> we run into Maw Wild. Yeah, in the yeah screw you, Jan. Kills ...and make our way to Goldenrod, where there's a security guard that'll give us both a Pokemon. He hands me a Porygon 2, which I'm ecstatic about, turns to Jacob, and gives him Reggie Gigas. Which we can't use because they're both normal types. Of all oh. the legends you had to get, of course you get the only normal type besides actual god. We beat Whitney and in the national park find Pip. <laughs> god is a Pokemon. Plap. I pitched to Jacob Aw, Plap. I, to trade the I actually really like Piplup. He's so he really adorable. With Flaffy, which we shake on. Welcome to the team, Plaps. Aww. And then my Plap immediately almost gets killed. Jaden. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. We find Dragonair yep. Shuppet, which is an actually insane pair we could use right away. But, yeah, I'm not killing that one. Look, I'm sorry, Jacob. It is harder than it looks to catch these things. We pour water on the strange trees on Route 36 that actually turn out to be Cray Dilly Silcoon. We kind of named them Dilly Doo and could have added them Dilly to the Dilly Doo. But we ended up forgetting to. Which is, yeah, a pretty silly mistake. But what's the mm. worst that could happen? Who needs death fodder in a Nuzlocke? Jacob and I make it to Ekritik and walk All right. to the Tower. As we are about to nice go tower. there, Jan runs up and is like, You're only trying to catch God damn it, Whitney not Jan again. Longer than you actually are. And we we're like, no, we killed him a while ago, but he still wanted to battle, probably to show off the Mew he somehow found. We oh wow, he found a Mew. Go downstairs, scare oh, off the dogs, and still, still beat him. him. Jacob didn't have any trouble for the team Morty had for him, but for me, I was screw you, Morty, get the hell out of here. We beat ya. Ugia, which neither me nor my team could even handle. All I could do was bubble beam it with Plap and pray I don't get crit one shot as Jacob just sits there watching. But it ended up working out. We arrive in Olivine and climb the giant lighthouse, almost falling to our literal death. Oh no! Reach oh. Jasmine at the top, who's like, climb back down and go get medicine for Amphi and C. Aww, poor. And we were like, we almost died getting here. Surfing to Sea and Wood, we encountered Obama Snow Pupitar. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we did catch them. Yeah, but oh, that's good. The team immediately, and suddenly we've got a pretty powerful lineup going on. Also, a random Looks nice. town gifted us a Mewtwo and Weeping Bell. Finally, I'm the one with. Finally. The now, but we had to box them because we couldn't have two grass types. Oh. <laughs> this sudden shared luck combined Damn. with our zero death win streak got us feeling pretty confident. Oh yeah, MLG mofos. Kicked in the throat. Specifically by a black belt martial artist. Oh. Leader Chuck. If it was Jan, I swear to God. In the most bullcrap way possible. For me, Jacob had no trouble at all because he's Jacob. He had a Kingdra, which I brought Obamatar out for. Nothing else on my team could really do anything against it. The main drawback of this is Obamatar's snow warning ability, which creates hail, damaging every Pokemon, including my own, that's not an ice type, which is pretty inconvenient Ooh. in a Nuzlocke. I even made a... A teeny tiny comment about it when I first got him. I can, I can, I'm gonna call it. Snow is gonna kill one of my Pokemon. Kingdra goes down and. Wow, you actually predicted it. Nice. He's only got two. Is Frostlass, who, if you don't know, has Snow Cloak. Snow Cloak makes the Pokemon 20% harder to hit if there's hail. You want to know how many Pokemon in Gen 4 have this ability? Five. Five. Three five. Of which being Mamoswine. You want to know how many Pokemon? Why is there like a the sixth has like non applicable? Four hundred ninety-three. Now I know these odds sound pretty awful already, but you know what this Frostlass does? She uses Ominous Wind. Ominous Wind has a ten percent chance to boost every single stat of the user. She gets the stat boost twice in a row. Ah. Oh. After a lot of strategizing, we both Man. This option for us would be I mean, the enemies are getting luck. To heal up Plap unfortunately. He's the only one that can really do anything at this point. And what happens? Please don't get another stat boost. 
You're, he's good. He's so good. He's no, no. Oh! Plus crit one shots Michael as soon as he comes out. Oh, oh one guess. shot. Poor camera up. He was so proud for making it out of Jack's gym and then just falls over dead for no reason. I got Plap healed up and basically started heal stalling, which sure isn't a noble strategy, but t t t come on. After keep on going against my own bad luck for what felt like hours, finally Frostlass goes down. Finally. Finally, oh, indeed. Shinka practically drags me out of the gym and we head to the BC. We decided to add a pair we caught back on Route 35, which was Charmeleon Dawn fan named Darfell. A fantastic Looks girl. nice. I was admittedly, and I think justifiably, Charmeleon's pretty cool. Really salty about what we just went through, but Jacob convinced me <laughs> that we should just move on. We got our Darfells leveled up and returned oh, to the Charizard now. medicine that we picked up so Jasmine would finally do her job. And check this out. Already done. <laughs> You're right. Oh my god. Look at our two screens real quick. <laughs> nah, it's alright. She also had a Geoxys. We had oh. a Mahogany Town catching and adding Nidoran and Barrel named Barrel to the team. And in the Barrels. Last rage, Let's go. Kyogre paired with my Swalot. We never use this pair, but I just wanted to mention it for reasons. We approach the glistening shadow of the Lake Beast, activate the encounter, and find a shiny. Shiny. Marian Dawn fan. Not, you know, the best, but hey, free shiny Pokemon. Doesn't hurt to cat. Oh, I killed oh. it. That's again. It's already I dead? Can't... Sorry. Lance walks up to us and goes, Hi, I'm Lance. Grabs us by the wrist, kicks down the door to the Mahogany Town 7 Eleven, kills one of the guys in there, and runs into the rocket hideout where he continues to wipe out any living organism. Jesus Christ, Lance. There. Even some of the Team Rocket grunts. We decided to copy them and beat up all the executives and their power generator. Right before oh. we find a golden rod, we pick up the seventh badge and then continue curb stomping Team Rocket. We were getting a bit too comfy though, and as Jacob wasn't paying attention, mainly because he just got a chicken sandwich, Obama hey, was yo. killed by a golem's earthquake. Oh no. That was a really bad blow and stung much more because we weren't paying attention. Aww. But we did have to move on, especially since we were literally in the middle of a gang fight. We shoved our way to Rocket Executive and Big Boss Archer and gave him a bit of a throw oh. so he would calm down and stop doing whatever it is he was doing. And yeah, screw you, Team Rocket. Blackthorn, we catch Frostlass <laughs> Corfish, which put me into a vengeful trauma spiral. Uh. You. <laughs> and then Jacob caught himself both a Suicune and an Azel. Wow, luck, we pure luck. Player who led with a Mewtwo against me, which at this point I shouldn't even be surprised. But all the rest of her team was pretty. I mean, push over for they have, she has a Mewtwo as well, right? To think we were good trainers, so we talked to the old man behind the gym, and he's like, "So, do you beat your Pokemon?" And we we're like, "No." And he's like, "Awesome, Claire, give him the stupid badge." What? So now we can head to the Elite Four. Hey guys. I think you should go fight a horde of Asian women in Ecritique. Huh? Uh, so we enter the uh. theater and start fighting the women, and the second girl for me sends out Ambipalm. As I switched to Franklin, it screeched, which I <clears throat> didn't pay attention to, and Ambipalm double hit killed Franklin. Oh. Our starters died. Dude. That was really sad. We were oh. about to make it to the Elite Four with them, and bam. Not alive anymore. They were with us through The starters have passed. Pretty much the backbone to our teams. Man. Jan's gonna make so much fun of us when he finds out. As we're still mourning, hmm. the last Kimono Girl rest spams with Waylord. Do you have any dignity, woman? We're lamenting over here. We try to leave and the girls- You're mourning your starters. Go catch the legendary Pokemon. He's already got three. So I head to Whirl Islands and Jacob Scales- And you killed the starters. Why are you happy? The legendary- You should feel remorse. Finally, we have some freedom again. And as soon as we touch the water in Newbark to head to Victory Road, what pops up from the bottom of- Jan. But Entei himself. Oh. And Doduo. Oh my god. Hello, Dode. That's going in the box because fire. Dode. We catch Cascoon Regirock in Victory Road and heading towards the exit, Jan sprints up from behind. There's Jan. Say, this is your last chance to kill one of our Pokemon, Jan. 
And what happens? Fine. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened? Oh. You killed Jarzard! That's not great. Oh, uh, he killed one of our Pokemon. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Darfell was an incredible pair we've had since the fifth gym, and we really grew to lean on. We lost quite literally half our team right before the Elite Four. Mm. We beat Jan for the last time, entered the Indigo Plateau, All right. and immediately bolt to Jan. see what kind of damage control we can do. After a very long time of trying to stitch together the best teams possible, we ended up with this. Ampharos and Polion, Bibaril Nidoqueen, Beautifly Cradley, Dodrio Ente, and Victory Bell Mewtwo. All right. I know, I know. Wow, Jaden. Super balanced. You've got Mewtwo and Ente and Jacob has <laughs> Beautifly. Look, I... This is the best we could do, I promise. Tell him, Jacob, tell him. Anyway, Bruh. deep breath. Come on, Jacob. Here we go into the unknown depths of the Elite Four. Will, Coda, and Bruno were all no problem at all. We breezed right past them. Everything was going great. This is fine. Right with the yeah. bullet bill. Oh, and... Oh. oh! Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. I win these. On the other hand, Karen was... Not as nice. No, I just mean, what if he does any trick? Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> she used the manager. It's fine. I was she called the manager and, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh no. Guys, we're so sorry we got you killed in the first, like, 15 minutes of having you. That we was quick. out of the battle with no more casualties, but facing Lance with a team of four each is really not ideal to say the least but we walked up to him nonetheless whether we win or lose here this is our last battle he leads with fiona and ledian which we were both like ha 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 lame. Yep. Is this all you lame and then he hits us with the no jacob was up against his porygon z rampardos licky licky zapdos and plusle and even though it's a pretty stacked team he was holding his own and getting through them really well on my end oh I that's good with a giga impacting snorlax which i really had nothing for i just had to pray for no crits and as many misses as possible it goes down eventually and what oh, does he send out that's next? good palkia oh no oh i could really use a salamence right about now this is what we get. We bullied Palkia so much during our journey here. Oh <laughs> no, you're dead. Anything that can handle Palkia either, except for Mewtwo. And what happens? He gets Spatial Rand crit one shot, turn one. I am in a lot of trouble. I took so much- Wow, Mewtwo already before. died. But Jacob was already done with his battle, so all he could do was watch this massacre from the sidelines. I sent out Dillydo to confuse Stalem and just try to chip away at him with basically nothing. And my god was I lucky, because if Palkia hit one more crit at any point, Dillydo and the run was over. Oh. And I was forced to dance on that line for a long time. But eventually, Dillydo eventually the finishing blow. I was so proud. The pair that we caught so early on and deemed as death fodder was the one. Wow. Us. We're so sorry for doubting you, Dilly Doo. Thank you for sticking by us. And you won. Bad, but that was only half of Lance's team, might I remind you. Oh. Uh, took out his sand slash, which stung. But Bass, no more celebrating. Out, tanked Plap Surf and killed him with Metal Burst. I was in shock with that one. That was our second oldest pair. Ever since our Franklins died, Jacob and I both started seeing the Plaps as our star members. Beryl came out and revenge finished the Bastiodon, and Lance's last Pokemon was big ol' hard-hitting, tanky frickin' Azumarill. I sent Dillydew back out because Beryl would die immediately and started the chipping game again. If that wasn't bad enough, Azumarill set up the rain and- Oh no, ring for not the time, rain. Which turned this fight from, uh, to, ah. Uh, this awful one-on-one -on -one lasted 10 whole minutes. I slapped- Whoa. He, slaps back he said, wow, but I, I say, whoa. And then I heal, but eventually, Dilly Doo wins the stalling battle. Oh wow, Azumarill really? Azumarill goes down. In an unpredictable turn of events, Dilly Doo saved us from utter defeat. What an adventure we just went on. Insane encounters. Nice. Insane bullcrap. Friends. You actually did win. Bullying. So much death. Thanks for going on this journey with me, Jacob. I quite literally couldn't have done it without you. And a salute yeah. to the buddies we made along. <laughs> Subscribe to Alpha Rad, guys. Except you. Yeah, fuck.
fuck that Pokemon. <laughs> Got the credits. Nice. Is there gonna be like a final message from Jaden or something? Keyframes. In betweeners. Alpha Rider Bling Player 2. Aww. And thank you to my team. Love you so much, and Bombheart will do me in videos. Thank you for supporting our videos. Be grateful. Thanks for watching. This includes our animated Nuzlocke series. This was all. Oh, this was the last one. The End by Jaden Animations. This was the final Nuzlocke video. Wow. This was this was actually the final Nuzlocke video. Anyways, guys, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to get Jaden Animations. And, yeah, that was actually Jaden's last Pokemon Nuzlocke video. Wow. I'll see y'all in the next video. That was insane. That was crazy. And that was such an adventure. Also, go subscribe to Alpha Ride for being player 2, I guess. I'll see y'all in the next video. There, guys. Thanks for watching. And... Deuces.